Hello. Um, this is how you play the From Studio 4 Cause for Concern. This is the most requested one, so I'm glad it's it's last. I forgot to do tomorrow, guys. I'm gonna record tomorrow after this. I'm gonna record tomorrow after this one. Um, but let's 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 do let's do cause for concern real quick. I don't know why I'm saying real quick. This is one of the more complicated ones. So we're gonna go uh, G flat at eleven. That's our first chord. We're gonna bar the fifth and fourth strings. I'm in E flat tuning, by the way. I always forget to mention that. That's E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. Um, that's the tuning for the song. And then we're gonna, um, a, l a little other information. This, this thin string, that's string one. This thick string, that's string six. Um, and these are called frets. This is fret one, this is fret 12. There's little dots at three, five, seven, and nine. That, that could help you, unless your guitar doesn't have the dots or the dots are in different places, then sorry about that. Um, but here we go, we're gonna put bar, that means put down, push down multiple strings with one finger. We're gonna bar the fifth and fourth strings at the 10th fret, and we're gonna use our ring finger on the 12th, on the third string, and our pinky on the 12th, on the second string, and that's a G flat at 11, and that sounds like this. And then we're gonna lift up our pointer finger. These stay, these fingers stay in place. We're gonna lift our pointer finger up. And we're just gonna put it onto the 10th fret of the fourth string. We're gonna take our middle finger and put it all the way on the 12th fret of the fifth string. And that's an A flat minor nine. That's our second chord. And we're gonna take this exact same handshape. We're gonna move everything down one string. And that's an E flat minor seven. And then we're gonna play that twice. Then here's where a little change comes in. We're gonna lift everything up. We're gonna put our pointer finger on the eighth fret of the sixth string, the fifth string. It's gonna be muted. You want this to make no sound. We're gonna put our middle finger on the ninth fret of the fourth string and we're going to put our ring finger on the ninth fret of the third string and that's a b major seven and then we're going to go to the a flat minor nine to the e flat minor seven and then it's g flat at 11 a minor nine e minor seven again and all together that goes like this similar to the verse of the electric cause for concern we're gonna do open fifth string and 11 on the fourth string which i have written down as just a flat and then we're gonna go to a flat sus we're gonna do that by taking our middle finger and we're just gonna put it on the 12th fret of the fourth string and we're still only playing these two strings and then we're gonna go to that b major seven and we're gonna slide this up so our middle and ring fingers are on the 12th fret and then on top of that we're going to move our pointer finger also to the 12th fret and this is just another way to play the e flat minor 7 and this is just how they play it during the verse instead of like this they play it right here and those are the verse chords play that during the bit where he goes we ain't gonna hurt you and during the verses and that's it and then we play the chorus again and then there's a bridge there's a bridge in there um where they start out by strumming 
And we're gonna use the same hand shapes for all these chords. So we're gonna start with the B major seven that we learned. We're gonna slide all the way up to an E flat minor seven. And then we're gonna use the B major seven hand shape. And we're gonna put our pointer finger on the 10th fret. So that's a D flat, right? E flat, D, D flat. That's a D flat uh, major seven. And then we're going to slide all the way down to this E flat minor seven hand shape. We're gonna do it all on the fifth fret and that's an A flat minor seven. And then we start strumming. On the B, on the B major seven, we start strumming. And we go to the E flat minor seven. all the way up here to the 15th fret with the B major seven hand shape. This is a G flat uh, major seven. And then you're gonna go to the 17th with the E minor seven hand shape and you're just gonna hit it once. And then you go to the first and all together that bridge sounds like this. That's that's everything you need to know to play this. So I hope you learned it. Um, bye bye. That's it.